Hi everyone, this is Amanda from Echo Consulting, and today I wanted to show how to list a task in multiple different projects. So this is one of, I find, the best ways to get visibility across and between projects, uh, is that in Asana, you can actually, rather than copying and pasting tasks or really just doubling up on, on your work, you can just list the same task in two different places and all of the necessary information uh, like due dates and tags and any other kind of additional pieces of information that you've put into that task, it'll show up in different projects. So to demonstrate this today, uh, I've got a project open here that is a sample webinar and event schedule. Um, so this is sort of based on some of our webinars here at Echo Consulting. Um, some of these are webinars that we have done, webinars that are coming up, and webinars that we're thinking about or that are, that are in line with uh, the kind of work that we do in our webinars. And so what I'd like to do today is create some tasks for promoting those webinars on social media. And then I want to have those social media promo tasks show up not just in here in our webinar and events project, but also in the social media calendar project. So the way that I'm gonna do this is first, I wanna know uh, which projects my tasks are listed in. And so this is actually a little bit of an update as of the beginning of February in 2023, I noticed that this has changed a little bit as to how you toggle seeing the project field in the, the list option within a, within a project. So you can see here at the top, if you're sort of new to Asana or you haven't seen this, when you're in a list view, you can see all of these fields for essentially managing the data of your project tasks. And what they've added or changed in Asana is that now you can actually adjust these fields in two different ways. So you can add custom fields uh, if that's part of your subscription level with Asana um, by clicking this little customize tab. And then you can see you can add custom fields there. But if we want to work with field options that already exist, it actually is over here in this area that says show fields. So what I want to do is click show fields. And then you can see these are all options that are fields that are built into the Asana environment. So all of these will actually show up if you toggle them on in the projects. Uh, the same information for a task will show up no matter what project you're in. You just have to turn those fields on. So I'm going to turn on the project field. And then you just click out of that. So you can see what this has done is it's added here, um, just showing what projects a task is a part of. You can make those fields, let's make those a little bit bigger. There we go. So that we can see the projects that there are multiple. So right now we can see that every task pretty much in this webinar and events project is also listed in the marketing team project, which is over here. And that's a really great start. But if I look here, I've got some sample tasks built out where I have the February and the March webinar. These are actually accurate to our Echo Consulting schedule, if you're curious. Um, but if I open up the task and see the subtasks, you can see that these subtasks are listed in the social media calendar. Um, so they show up not only here in webinars and events, but they also show up in the social media calendar. And so what I want to do is replicate this for all of the webinars in quarter two. And I'm just going to do April in this video. Um, and so what I want to do here, I'm going to close February. I'm going to open up March. March, you can actually see, is co-listed between webinars and events, where we are right now, social media calendar, and the marketing team overview, which is great. That's actually what I would like to sort of um, set the next one up as. So I'm gonna do this just manually. There are a lot of ways to automate um, adding tasks to different projects and sort of building template tasks, but just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna do this manually. So I'm just gonna multi-select all of these subtasks. Asana's pretty great about multi-selection of lines or tasks. You can see it shows you that you've got four tasks selected. And I'm just gonna use my keyboard to copy those. I'm gonna close that task. And if I click into the April webinar details, I can add subtasks here. So I'm gonna paste those subtasks in. And then I'm gonna click away from that sort of info box that shows up. So you can see now in the April webinar, there's a drop down option. 
So there are our subtasks that we just created. Um, if you've got more questions about using subtasks and tasks and projects, definitely check out our Echo Consulting YouTube channel for some Asana tips. But let's go ahead and add these subtasks to our additional projects here. So again, I'm gonna multi-select. And to do that, I just click the top one, I hold shift, and then I click the bottom one, it selects all of them. You can also click and drag through this list. And so all I need to do, it's pretty great, you just click into the top or any one of these boxes because they're all selected. Whatever we change will apply to all four tasks. So I'm gonna click this. And I do want to add this to our social media calendar so that when we're planning our social media posts, we can see these promo posts. But I'm also going to add it to our marketing team um, overview here. I like to have a project within every team that's just an overview of everything in it. I think that's a pretty helpful way to see, uh, get visibility of all those projects. So we're going to add that to both of those projects. And then I'm just going to click out of that and I'm going to hit this X to deselect those tasks. The last thing I want to do here is set due dates and assigning assignments. So I'm just going to assign them all to myself. And then I'm going to actually just go in really quickly. So we know this webinar is happening on April 26th. I'm going to work backwards. So I want the last call to be on the 25th. I want the one week out to be on the 19th. Two weeks out to be on the 12th. And then we'll do our first promo at the start of April on the 5th. So hopefully now, right, if we've done this properly, all of these posts will show up not only in the social media calendar, but also in our marketing team overview. And just for good measure, I'm gonna do the same thing with these February tasks because I noticed they were not showing up on the marketing team project. Okay. I'm just gonna show that again. This here, one week out. First one is tomorrow, and then yeah, we'll just leave that in place. Oops, this is actually an old task, so I'll delete that. And then I'll multi assign these, and we will be good. Okay, okay. so what I want to show here is that these are all going to show up in both of these other projects. So I'm going to close this. Remember, we're in Mark webinars and events right now. If I go to our social media calendar, we have this set up as a calendar view, and you can see there are our posts, right? So these are the subtasks to our February webinar task that is in webinars and events, and it's already showing up where we want it to be. It's on our social media calendar. If we go through April, you can see there are all of our social posts, which is great. Then if we go to our marketing team sort of project overview, you can see I've got these actually color coordinated also for February. So here are the posts, promo posts for March, and promo posts in April. So again, this is a really great way to get visibility uh, between projects that are related to each other um, without having to just go in and kind of copy and paste the tasks into all the projects. And then you'd have to go back and complete them all and really just double up on your work. So this multi-listing of tasks between projects is probably one of my favorite features about Asana. So my hope is that that helps you to stay organized and streamline your workflow. If you have more questions about using Asana for project management or task management or anything of the like, definitely check out our YouTube channel and feel free to comment on this video about what you'd like to see uh, learning Asana or any other project management tool.